Today we're gonna take a look at the drag and angular drag attributes inside a rigid body component. Be aware that the drag attribute is the same as the linear drag attribute in the rigid body 2D component. Let's take a look at the docs. Drag. How much air resistance affects the object when moving from forces? Zero means no air resistance and infinity makes the object stop moving immediately. Wait, air? In Unity? In my PC? Maybe the 2D docs? Linear drag. Drag coefficient affecting positional movement. Ah, yes, sure. Easily said, does the number inside your drag field tell you how fast an object stops its movement when you don't tell it to move further? When I hold down a key, I tell the ball to move. Currently, the coefficient is set to zero. So zero air resistance means infinite movement, right? I release the key and, well, yes, it still moves. Forever. Or almost. Its current speed decreases very slowly. When I now increase the number, the speed decreases way faster until zero. It stops. In 2D this is exactly the same, just called differently. I'll set a number and we see that the ball will roll out until it finally stops. The lower the number, the longer its roll out. So with this value you can either make a deer on a frozen sea by setting your number low, or a snail traveling through a desert by setting a high value. Angular drag is almost the same, except it's not for movement but for rotation or spinning, the torque of the rigid body. The trash falling down has a medium value for its angular drag. It spins a bit until it stops. Lowering the number increases this time and it will spin like very, very long. On the other hand, higher value makes it almost not spin. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for the next episode of Easily Said. Thanks for watching.